at Farball with St. Francis head coach Chris Valerio. Coach V's team captured the 2022 Northeast Conference Championship last weekend, the second conference title in school history. November 19th, defeating Merrimack 52 to 23 in North Andover, Massachusetts. SFU's win was its ninth straight victory, now nine and two, and finished a perfect conference season, seven and zero mark in NEC games. Last Sunday, the Flash found out that they would be taking on Delaware. We knew we were in. We will be taking on Delaware in the opening round of the FCS playoffs, and the Flash and the Blue Hens will kick off against one another in Newark, Delaware, this Saturday, November 26th at 2 p.m. The game fans can be viewed on ESPN+. Plus. Chris, we're going to get to Delaware, and I know your focus is on the Blue Hens, but congratulations. The second conference championship only the school second the second for you as the head coach of this program I, it feels great and you know and it, all the respect goes to our administrators uh, for uh, allowing us to play this great game and, and giving us the opportunity to come out here and showcase what we got um, and, and to the the fans and to all the you know ex alum that, that have paved the way for us that's where all the credit goes and at the end of that game the joy on your players faces the work they put in not even going back to the summer, going back to the painful experiences they had last year. Five points became the motto of those close losses. To see the team reap the fruit, the, the fruits of their hard work uh, had to be really, really special for you. I think it go, you know, goes back to the season that was canceled. Uh, that's, that, that team hung together. Uh, they, we were a little frustrated last year, that five points, five points, that's all you heard. And I think that they just they saw that what they needed to do, and, th and they stuck together. They pushed each other, and, and they encouraged each other, they loved each other, and they became a team. And uh, that, was, that was something great to watch for them. I'm so happy for them and their families. Uh, you know, the parents were so emotional after the game just to see, you know, what, what, what these gentlemen have been through. And uh, to see the expression on their face and the tears of joy, uh, it was great to see. Let's talk. FCS playoffs. Delaware is the opponent. Seven and four, four and four in the Colonial Athletic Association. They were actually one of five teams from the CAA to land a spot in the playoff field. The Fighting Blue Hens lost at Villanova 29 26 last weekend, and it's been up and down for them. They won five straight to open the season, and that includes a season opening win at Navy and then two and four over their last six. And to play in that kind of conference, the CAA, which is regarded as one of the top conferences in the country in FCS, uh, you know, obviously there's no bad teams. So, uh, you know, one of the biggest things we always say don't look at seven and four because all of these teams could play in the national playoffs. We have to go out and just play our best game and, and, and try to, you know, don't give up the big big plays, and uh, we got to be physical up front. The two teams played last year in the non-conference season. The Blue Hens beat our Flash 27-10 on September 11th of 2021. Does that familiarity, again, different mm -hmm. folks, some same, some of the same players, but does that experience in the non-conference schedule last season help you going into this game? I think it really helps with telling the guys how, you know, physical they are because they are a physical team. They pride themselves on, on being physical. So it's not going to be, you know, these guys are going to have to know they're going to come out ready to go. 